think I could get it around eight seconds. Welcome back to the channel. We are back up here at Defender Ranch. We still got snow on the ground, but the sun is out and it's not too cold when the sun is shining. We did a Texas Star drill a couple weeks ago and had a lot of fun. It was a 500 yard rifle drill that we did. Check out that video. We'll link it below if you haven't seen it already. So we figured we'd do another one, but with pistols and try to do that kind of a long range version. So we have a Texas Star behind me at 50 yards and we have a stick here measured out. We used a range finder to get the distance. So we will be having another friendly challenge going from concealed fastest plate rack with pistols at 50 yards. Wish us luck. Never done this. We'll see if it's doable. Okay. Well, I'm first. I'll, I'll talk. <laughs> I'll just get, okay. Should we go every other word? Yeah. Okay. So the here. rule. That, Okay, we're not doing that. The rules of this are you have your spare mag and the mag in your gun. So it's either time or if you run out of ammo, then you just fail and you suck. So mm -hmm. true. Which there's a high possibility that all of us will be in that category. Start, if you run out of ammo, you're just done. Otherwise it goes down to time to knock all the plates down. Yep. Aaron, you're gonna go first. Yeah, I'll go first. I'm running an Axis Elite holster with my Atlas Titan RDS uh, today. Are you ready? Ready? Stand by. Eleven thirty-eight. Are you kidding okay. me? I am. <laughs> okay, so that, that went a lot better than I thought. Yeah, same. That did uh, go a lot better than any of us thought, actually. All right. Well, I guess let's set them back up and everyone lose to that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go up next. Shadow Systems XR920 with the Radiant Ramjet afterburner and the 507 Comp. That was a pretty crazy run by Aaron. All right, Jack. Are you ready? I guess. Stand by. Fifty-seven. If he hadn't you're a little more had patient. malfunctions, yeah, and a little bit more patient on the last plate. Well, so I realized I was going over him about halfway through because my zero is at like ten yards, roughly. So out here, I'm actually like six to eight inches high, and I was holding dead on for the first few. Started missing, but then once I figured that out, it's not that bad. I think I could get it around eight eight seconds now that I know where to hold. Okay, Jared, are you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Idiot. I feel like I hit that like three or four times. You hit the arm. Touching the ground and not falling out. No, he no. hit the arm. So that was a 2191. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm gonna shoot in my MP, five inch. Are you ready though? Um, sure, I mean, there's a Texas star out there at 50 yards and- Stand by. We'll see what happens. <laughs> That's not what happens. off to such a good start. 2771. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I thought you were gonna clean that. Three for three, and then we don't have to talk. We're back for round two. We're gonna go in reverse order. Worst time goes first, that would be me. Okay, shooter, are you ready? <clears throat> I'm ready. Stand by. Ooh. Gosh. Oh. 
3483. Way to way to beat your time, Colin. By more numbers. Round number two, my strategy is gonna be try to be more patient. Are you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Twenty eighty nine. So he beat his previous time by just over a second. Well, he had to hit the first one three times. I am up for my second round. We did make a game time decision to do aggregate times. So basically, add up everything over the three rounds, and that will determine the winner. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. I think I could get it around eight seconds now that I know where to hold. Oh, oh, Dang it. Dude, you got so lucky it decided to come off. Big That's not a fist bump, yeah. but I'll no, take it. No, it was. Big improvement. Yeah. Good job. I was, I'm glad I didn't shoot again. I almost shot at the last one again because it didn't quite fall. But yeah, big improvement, four seconds. Yeah. So now I just got to bank on air and the bed a little bit and then have a good solid last run. I am up for my second attempt. All right, are you ready? Ready? Stand by. <laughs> that screwed me right there. I had a sense of urgency, and that's what I blame all those misses on. I was just trying to go fast, wasn't settling where I needed to, so. Round three for me. You ready? I'm ready. Stand by. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Stand by. So I follow the common trend of getting worse each time. This is cool, I guess, if you're into that. Round three, I think I've solidified my position already in, in the, uh, the loser category. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Ten forty-six. Best run of the day. Fast time overall. Competition's over. <laughs> Quick rule change. We're just going off fastest time. So I think what I actually did was be a little bit more patient on the targets on, on some of their dwell areas, as well as I was paying more attention to my trigger manipulation. Uh, you probably heard, and luckily it connected. I had two rounds that went pretty quick, and that's because I'm trying to 
uh, reset and recoil and be really prepped on the edge. So I think before I was just kind of hitting the wall softly and not like truly prepping it. And so I was kind of mashing that trigger and it was going a little left, a little right or whatever. So I tried to be a little bit more careful with that and it worked out better. I still think I could do better than that, but it worked out better. Third and final run, I figure, we don't have the exact times, but I figure I have somewhere around 20 seconds before I catch up to Jared and A.A. Ron. Are you ready? Yep. Am I? This is not looking good. Wow, squeaked it in. <laughs> did you see that two plates yeah. with one round trick yeah. he did? That was trash. He we'll add up mile. all the scores. Miles will do it in editing. Okay guys, that was the Texas Star at 50 yards with pistols. I think Jack here is our winner, followed by Jared. Maybe, maybe me, I don't know. And then Colin, it doesn't really matter though. This was just fun and it was surprising. Uh, the first run for me was really good and then I just got way worse and, and some people got better on their later runs. It's just, I don't know, it's a hard drill. So if you have access to one of these or a, a range that facilitates stuff like this, you should try it. And you should let us know in the comments if you are able to try it and what you get. Uh, let us know also if there's anything else we should do with the Texas Star or a plate rack or other still targets. We have a lot out here at Defender Ranch. So go follow that Instagram page. I'll link it below. Uh, let us know about ideas that you'd like to see. Uh, anyway, stay safe, stay strapped, and we'll catch you next time.